was a time in uh, Brazil um, around 82, I believe, 82, 83. We used to go to this place called Woodstock Records and um, um, we didn't have money for the imported records, so we buy cassettes. And um, I just remember the guy from the store recommended that I should get the one side of the cassette, I should get the discharge. Here's uh, hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing album. And on the other side was Hellhammer, Apocalyptic Raids. Um, so they just, he just, uh, I just brought, bought that cassette and take it home and fell in love with it. It was so cool and, and, um, it was not until later that I realized that they were punks, you know, that they were, like, you know, Mohawks and all that. You know, so it was in the same tape with a metal band, you know, so I like Hellhammer and I like Discharge. Um, so, you know, I, I went, wanted more, so I ended up, discovering more stuff, bought more tapes, I got some other records, I got the YEP and um, Never Again and all that, so yeah, it was killer, I became a big fan, you know, it was mostly me and Igor were the, kind of like the punk heart of Sepultura, uh, the other two guys didn't like punk stuff very much, so it was mostly me and Igor, but I think the influence is like even today to me, hear nothing, see nothing is a wall of guitar that's never been done again ever since. The album still today sounds amazing. It's just a wall of guitars coming at you. <laughs> you know, it's incredible. It's, it's, it's sonic violence. That's what I like about it, you know, and I fell in love with it. It's just so awesome and I end up getting really, really into the scene and, and end up discovering GBH after that and um, extreme noise terror and um, English dogs and yeah, big big fan of of the whole of the whole culture. You know, and then there was some like Finnish band I got into Ratus, Chaos, Cows they call it, Trevet uh, Cadet, and it was also a big uh, metal punk scene in Brazil too. There's a lot of people like a lot of punk and. And we were right on the edge of the of the the crossover of metal and punk when Sepultura started. So it was cool to because I think it was the, also the beginning of, of, of thrash metal movement. Because I think that thrash metal that's what inspired it was the combination of stuff like Motorhead uh, mixed with Discharge. You get thrash metal, you know, which is great. You know, so it's like perfect for them.